In today's video, we are going to be showing you every single thing that you need to know about the Season 3 Battle Pass update. We're going to be showing you the gadgets, we're going to be showing you everything you need to know about the kits and the enchantments, including what they do and how to get them. So first off with the enchantments, there is in fact three different enchantments, each with three different levels. Now to get each level of enchantment, iron can give you level one or two, and then emeralds can give you level th two or three. So I would recommend using iron since it's a little easier to get, but if you have the emeralds, might as well. Good thing to know is when you die, you lose the effect. So don't do this if you think you're about to die. I had a glitch that I was not actually using the emeralds. I was keeping them so I could just keep experimenting with this which was very good for the video. But basically the three different enchantments are the void enchantment, the static enchantment and the fire. Each of these can have level 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the static enchantment basically means when you hit someone, any nearby enemies will also take the same amount of damage. Assuming you're on static 3, they'll take the same amount of damage. I believe on static 2 and 1, they take a little more reduced damage. But you, it's very, very good if you're a solo player up against a squad, because it means you damage one person, you're damaging everyone. It's, it's going to make that a little bit more fair. Then we have the fire. Now, I believe this is like the brittle effect from the flamethrower of Pyro. If you don't know what that is, that basically means that when you are hit with the fire, any hits after that or any full damage is going to multiply. So basically, you're not gonna survive very long. You're gonna take a lot more damage. And then last we have the void one. This one took us a while to figure out, unless this was lag on every single person, we believe this means you cannot jump. So basically, all use balloons. So the more you hit them with the void enchantment, the more, like the heavier they are going to get. So basically, they are going to fall if they're too heavy and they have balloons. You know, they might have three balloons, but they might be too heavy. They've got too much void effect on them, so they'll still fall anyway. So this can be very useful. I will show you guys the kits in a little bit, but first we are going to be showing off gear. So this stuff in the battle pass is called lobby gear. Now this is stuff that you can use in the lobby, as it suggests. If you've ever played Hypixel, you know exactly what this is. If you haven't, then basically these are equipment you can use in the lobby. Speed boots will mean you'll get an increased speed boost in the lobby, which can be a little nice if you want to catch up to a friend who's on like the lot, the obby island, for example. I know there's some jump boots which will allow you to jump higher and get to places that previously you could not without hacks. And then lastly, we also have a Rage Blade. Now, I saw DB using this before. I was a little confused until I actually saw it in the Battle Pass. Now, basically, you are able to have a Rage Blade in the lobby. Don't worry, you can't damage anybody, but we've also got snowballs, so that's also pretty cool. You can have a snowball fight in the lobby. So now onto the kits. So, so far we do only have four kits, but I believe there was a kit on there that was saying coming soon, so we're probably gonna eventually get five. Now, the first kit you unlock is Santa. So this dude here basically allows you to have air strikes on your enemies. I don't know for sure since I haven't actually played as him yet, but from the description, it basically looks like you're gonna be able to throw some sort of beacon, some sort of flare over to an area, or maybe even a prison, and there's gonna be a sled that'll come out of nowhere and drop a ton of bombs on them. When I say bombs, I mean prison bombs. Next, we have the Gingerbread Man. Um, doesn't look too useful, to be honest. He basically is gonna put some gumdrop bounce pads on. It'll neglect fall damage, which I mean, you could just use balloons or a pearl. But if you've got the void effect on, like I was saying before, this might be a pretty good option. Then we have the Yeti. Holy moly, this thing is going to be so, so good. It's going to be able to let you roar, and every block nearby is going to turn into ice. This is going to make it so much easier to break stuff. You know how good this is going to be for rushes? That, you know, they're like, oh no, this person has a bid defense. Oh, who cares? I've got Yeti. Freezes the entire thing and just plummels right through it. And then lastly, we have Airy. Okay, this person, not gonna lie, looks really good. I'm kind of excited to use them. Every time you kill an enemy, you are going to get yourself a Spirit Butterfly. This is going to amplify how much damage you can get. And uh, assuming this doesn't matter how, assuming there's no limit to this, uh, rip enemies. So that is going to be basically everything you need to know about the new update. There are some new maps that I have not showed you, but 
this is pretty much everything you need to know. If you did enjoy this at all, please do consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It is completely free, as you probably know by now, but it does help me out on absolute time, so please. Also, if you want to join our community a little more, we have a Roblox group with a game and some merch currently being made, and we have a Discord server for announcements, or if you just want to DM me and talk to me, my DMs are always open. And uh, yeah, I guess I shall see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.